Good morning. Bucks County has been in the news a lot this year. Earlier, we flipped Bucks County from blue to red, and for the first time in modern history, there are more registered Republicans than Democrats here in this county. Number two, voters were disenfranchised in this county. And in fact, I want to thank Chairman Michael Watley of the RNC and co-chair Laura Trump for suing to make sure that we had three additional days of early in-person voting because voters waiting in line to do in-person, on-demand, mail-in voting were told that they couldn't vote until five o'clock, that the line was cut off. So thank you to the Republican Party for suing Bucks County and fighting for election integrity. And now, here before us, it's on the world stage that we have a commissioner, quote, by Diane Marsiglia, precedent by a court doesn't matter anymore in this country. People violate laws any time they want. And if I, meaning Diane Marsiglia, violate this law, it's because I want a court to pay attention to it. Well, Commissioner, the court already ruled that undated and misdated mail-in ballots could not be counted. You knew that going into the meeting. And I want to congratulate the people of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. This speech I'm doing right now is going to be seen by millions across the country, the Commonwealth, and the world. And I have a message. Congratulations to President-elect Donald J. Trump, the 45th and 47th President of the United States of America. Congratulations to Senator-elect Dave McCormick, and we are not going to allow Democrats to steal this seat from us. Furthermore, congratulations, because we defeated Matt Cartwright, giving President Trump an additional seat in Congress. Congratulations to Congressman-elect Rob Bresnahan. Congratulations to Congressman-elect Ryan McKenzie, defeating Democrats Susan Wilde in Allentown and Lehigh. And I have a message. Peacefully, peacefully, we are coming for your seat in 2027. If you don't re resign today, How about it? I am coming for your seat peacefully. And Harvey, Commissioner Harvey, this goes for you too. You are complicit. Mark Elias and his cronies must be disbarred from practicing law in Pennsylvania, any of his cronies for the misconduct that they did. I want you to know that I am going to spend all of my time in Bucks County for the next three years making sure that we take back this county. Thank you to every single patriot that showed up today. We if I behaved in this manner, if I, as a lawyer, had followed the conduct that you all followed, I would have been fired, I would have lost my license, maybe I would have been arrested. We're sick and tired of one side facing consequences for actions. Where are the consequences for your actions? You are all felons. You deserve to be in jail. You deserve to, you need to resign today. You need to be fired. We are your boss. How can the American people believe in the integrity of this election when these commissioners promise to disregard and break the law? The answer is they cannot. These are elected officials who openly and blatantly admitted to, to disobeying the law. How could we ever have faith in their ability to uphold the law again? You claim that your comments were taken out of context. Cut me a break. We're not stupid. You may think we are, but we are not. You all took an oath, and you seem to have forgotten that. It is appalling that as elected officials, Marseglia and Harvey, that you decided to count illegal ballots. There's something really wrong with both of you. You, Marseglia and Harvey, should be ashamed of yourselves and held legally accountable for breaking the law. You are both an embarrassment to our county, our state, and our entire country. I am calling today for you both to resign, and I ask that you do so immediately. You can roll your eyes all you want, sweetie. 
I hope you do get the attention of the court. Criminal court. Thank God on January 20th, there's a new sheriff in town. I know this pains you losing liberals, but you're gonna have to get some TDS training. It's called Trump derangement syndrome. Cause there's not gonna be any more DEI. There's no more men and women's sports. There's no more men and women's locker rooms. Can you imagine your junior high daughter self-conscious about her body and she has to change or take a shower next to a naked man? Yeah. These are the sick policies you people endorse. Please stay with these policies because 80% of Americans don't want them, never did, but you guys are too dense to understand this country is founded on Christian values. Thank you.